Hello, good evening. Good evening, people. Is somebody there? Good evening. Hi, how's everything? How's everything, everybody? ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo les va? So, so. So, so. Yes. Ah. Good evening. Uh, so, why, why so, so? Was it a difficult day today? Yes. Uh, as always, right? Ah, I mean, it's really complicated. Besides, to, to, today is Friday, the last day of the week. So, I guess you have more, you know, things to, to do, right? And you, teacher? Uh, it was kind of uh, good, but it was tiring. I just came home like 20 minutes ago. I just ate a little bit, like like kind of fast. And now I'm here again. Uh, I look like a, a little bit tired because I couldn't sleep that much last class. I mean, last class, last time, last night. I just slept, let me see like three hours or something like that because I had insomnia. So I had to wake up at 4.45. So I'm like, ugh, kind of, you know, like a sleepy. <laughs> Día <Yeah>. complicado. <laughs> ah, yeah, I mean, a little bit busy. And you know what? I mean, People generally are happy because, yeah, I mean, it says Friday, you know, tomorrow no work and everything. But I cannot say something like that because tomorrow is the day I work more because I generally start working at 7 until 5 p.m. The whole day, nine hours. That's a little bit complicated. Oh my god, but you're here. I mean that's 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 the best part. Give me one second. All right. So let's just start with you know like uh the contents for tonight. But before doing that, I am going to pass the attendance list. Give me one second. Mm -hmm. Ah, today's Friday, right? Okay, Edson Mariano. Edson? Present teacher. Ah, okay. Good. You're there. Gabriel Esaú. Gabriel Esaú, is he here? Okay, he's as a listener. But I guess you're there. Uh, Jocelyn, no, she's not here anymore. Judith Maribel. Okay, I guess Judith is not here yet. Okay, Gabriel, thank you for telling me. Ah, Carla Ivania. Hmm, no here. Carla Lorena. Present teacher. Ah, okay. You're there. Give me one second. Ah, uh, Catherine Guadalupe. Catherine, no, but she is not there. Maria Elena. Maria Elena, all right, now there. Marilyn Alejandra. Present. Okay, nice. Mario Ernesto. Present. 
Okay, excellent. Marvin Alexander. Marvin, Marvin. Okay, he's not there. Monica Maricela. Present. Okay, good. Nelson Fabricio. Okay, he's not there. Norma Beatriz. Present, teacher. Okay, excellent. Patricia Guadalupe. Patricia, okay, she's not there. Roberto Emilio. Present, teacher. All right, nice. Ruth Guadalupe. Ah, ok, good, good. Santos Cristina. Present teacher. Ok, excelente. Sí, teacher, estoy tratando de arreglar mi cámara porque se ve empañada. Si no, no sí, así veo que un, un paisaje veo. Eh. No, sí. <risa> Ahorita la arreglo y tampoco la puedo arreglar. ¿no? Ok, no problema. Sí, gracias. Ok, William Alexander. Present. Ok, excelente. Jocelyn Stephanie. Okay, she's not there. Juan Ricardo. Not there. Iris Cecilia. Not here. Ana Silvia. Hello, teacher. Hello, miss. All right, you're there. Francisco Ernesto. Hey, Francisco is not here. All right. And the last one, Abigail Elizabeth, that I think she's not going to get connected tonight because she's very punctual. Okay, give me one second. I'm just... I'm just checking some things. Uh, some of your classmates have problems to enter. Okay. There you go. All right, people. So let's start um, doing a short feedback from the topics that we were discussing in last class. What do you remember from last class, people? Vamos a ver, ¿qué recordamos de la clase pasada? What was the topic? Ok, Ivania, no problem. Thank you for telling me. Ajá, people, what do you remember from yesterday class? Recordamos de la clase de ayer. Just to get into, you know, like. Servicios del hotel. Hotel services and amenities. Ok, good, good. Uh, can you mention some of the service uh, that, that a, a common hotel provide to you people? ¿Podrían mencionarme algún servicio de hotel de los que estuvimos viendo y practicando ayer? Well, the service. Wi-Fi, internet. Ah, okay, good. What else? Thank you for your participation. Check ah? The check-in. The check-in. Okay, thank you. Hello, service. Okay, thank you. What else? Ruth, you... Ah, okay. Shuttle service. Thank you, Mario. Ruth, we can send you some microphone, Ruth. What do you want to say? I think we are wrong. I didn't listen to you, Ruth. Think we are wrong. Ah, single room. Okay, good, good. Very nice. What else? Mm-hmm. Excellent. A business center. Nice. This safe. 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 What was safe? Que era safe? Thank you, Mario, by the way. Caja de seguridad. Caja de seguridad. That's nice. Nice. ¿Qué más? Wake up. The wake up call. Okay. Good. That is really good for people like me. Especially when I'm sleeping, like right now. For real, if I got to sleep, 
and I had to wake up very early in the morning, probably I, I won't feel the, or I won't listen. Or I will listen, but I will be sleeping the alarm. <laughs> I'm very dangerous with, with, with things like that. Okay, so that, that was basically the main thing that we were discussing last class, right? Hotel, services, and amenities. Por cierto, ¿qué era amenities? Atención. Mm. Comodidades. Comodidades. Exactly, that's the word. Thank you, thank you. Okay, so tonight we will continue talking a little bit about hotels and all those things, but uh, let me see. The class is going to be directed and I'm going to focus at least the grammar explanation is going to be focused on something a little bit different. Tonight, we're going to focus on one specific structure. We will continue in the manual. Apparently, we will continue talking about the hotel services and amenities. But right now, what we are going to be talking about is about the structure for this thing. So I am going to project it in here just to start because we have a lot of information to share. Give me one second, people. This is not the one. Oh, I'll really kill Kara. Give me one second. Ah, this is the one. Give me one second. All right. So we got it. All right. Let's remember tonight is October the 14th. And tonight's topic is going to be focused mostly on how to use be going to. ¿Les suena familiar este tema? O esta estructura, más bien dicho. Es para, para expresar un verbo en futuro próximo. Ah, ok, ok. Very good. It's just to express. Ok, oh, we need this structure to create future, right? Future sentences. Ok, there you go. So, let's start over with that. Is the most relevant that we got for tonight. So we have the review from the previous class, something that we did already. Then we will have a conversation, but the conversation, I'm gonna leave it at the end as we have been doing. The be going to a structure, then the exercises related to the structure. And at the end, we will continue working on the manual. All right, now, Let's focus on what it really matters, which is the structure, be going to. As Carla said, listen, be going to is mostly used for activities that are going to happen in a very near uh, future or calling like this, all right? Give me one second. What is this? All right, now let's continue. What is the structure that we have for this <clears throat> for this thing? Look, this is the structure for be going to. This is the general structure. So we got in here subject. Remember, the subject can be all right, any pronoun or any proper noun. 
Puede ser cualquier pronombre o nombre propio. Ok. You already know that. And then the structure. Be going to. Que recuerden. El hecho de que diga be going to no es que vamos a poner el be. Sino una forma del verbo to be. De acuerdo de, al sujeto que pongamos. O el subject que pongamos en la oración. All right. So, que por cierto, ¿cuáles son las tres formas del verbo to be? In simple present. I, are. Am, is, and are. Am, am, is, I. Exactly. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Glipo. Thank you. All right. So, that's what it is. Am, is, and are. Good. Now, then, after that, after putting be going to, you have to put the verb. The one that indicates the action, but in base form, not modified, all right? In base form. And at the end, a complement. We got some examples in here? Yes, we got some examples. Check this out. First the example and then the explanation about that. Roberto, help me out reading this one. Roberto, are you there? Yeah, teacher. Uh, todo. The example, the example only. I am going to have class tomorrow night. Okay, very good. I am going to have class tomorrow night. So in this case, if you take a look in there, in the bold letters, that's the big going to structure, right? I... I'm going to. Y luego tenemos el, for, el verbo en forma base, que en este caso sería el verbo have, right? Y luego class tomorrow night ya sería el complemento. En este caso, ¿cuándo realmente utilizamos el verbo to be? Ah, a I mí. Mean, aparte de el going to, aquí lo tenemos. Listen, dice, we use be going to to describe an schedule activity. Right? Or activities that will definitely happen in the future. ¿Qué significa eso? Que generalmente cuando usamos el be going to, lo hacemos para actividades previamente planeadas. Son todas esas actividades que nosotros pretendemos hacer en un futuro cercano o lejano, pero que previamente están planificadas. ¿Ok? No es algo que pasa de manera espontánea. Para cosas espontáneas tenemos will, right? Que es la otra estructura para formar futuro. Right. So, recuerden entonces, be going to más que todo se utiliza para actions or situations that you have planned before happening. Okay. Like, for example, in this case, the example, I am going to have classes to, or class tomorrow night. Ese ya es una actividad previamente planificada. So, another example. Check this out. William, help me a reading, please. You are going to work next week. Ah, okay, good. William, en su opinión, ¿cree que esa oración eh, es sobre una acción que ya se planificó? Yes. No. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, William. So in this case, yeah, I mean, it's, it's an action previously planned, right? Okay, porque si decimos, ah, I mean, uh, you're going to work next week, significa que esa acción ya está planificada previamente. Good. All right. And we have another one in here. Monica, help me out reading, please. She's going to prepare dinner. Okay, she's going to prepare dinner. There you go. So that's another action, right? That is previously planned. Entonces aquí estamos hablando sobre acciones que previamente nosotros ya hemos planeado hacer o alguien más ha planeado hacer. So in that case, we use be going to. All right. 
hasta acá. Vamos bien, tenemos alguna pregunta con relación a esta estructura. Are we understanding people? Vamos comprendiendo cómo funciona la estructura del Big Going To. ¿O alguien tiene alguna pregunta? No questions so far? Ok. Perfect. I'm glad that you don't have any question. Good. So if you don't have questions, but you might have examples. Bueno, no tenemos preguntas, pero sí podemos tener ejemplos. All right. Can you guys give me one example about a future action that you're going to do? ¿Me podrían mencionar una acción que van a hacer a futuro? Posiblemente mañana, la otra semana, fin de semana. Right? Something. The idea is that I really want to know if you are, you know, getting into this structure. Could you please give me one example or write it down? Write it down in your notebooks and then read it for me. She's going to the doctor. All right, all right. Mario, read again, please. She is going to go to the doctor. You said she or he? She is going to, to the doctor. Uh, you're missing, Mario, ahí le falta el verbo. ¿Quiere que, ah, sí, quiere, sí. ¿Quiere que le diga por qué le falta el verbo? Porque usted simplemente me pone así, mire. He is going to the doctor. No, is, no. ¿Y de acuerdo, Alex? Dije, dije, she is going to go to the doctor. ¿Así? ¿Sí? She is going to go to the doctor. No. ¿Así? Sí. Tú. Teo. The doctor. ¿Like this? Yes. She is going... Go to the doctor. Okay. Are you sure, Mario? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's, it's, you get something wrong in there. Algo tenemos, un, un, algo tenemos que modificar. Mire, en este caso, vamos a eliminar el to de acá y se lo vamos a poner acá, así. She is going to go. Acuérdese que esta es la estructura, mire. Going to. All right. So, entonces, por lo tanto, este go es el verbo principal. There you go. Thank you, Mario. Yes, I think so that's Remember, that's she is going to go to the doctor. Good. Uh, somebody else? Teacher. Yes, Cristina. I am going to buy, to, to, buy? Buy, to buy some fabric tomorrow. Some tomorrow. fabric tomorrow. Okay. Very good. Thank you, Cristina. All right. I'm going to a party on, on Sunday. Give me, give me one second. I'm going to write it down here. Read it again for me, please. I'm going. Give me I second. am going to a party on Sunday. Go. I'm going to go a party on Sunday. Ah. Like this? Yes. Okay. Algo le falta ahí. ¿Ya identificó que le falta? Go to. Exactly. I am going to go to a party on Sunday. That's the way. Thank you, Carla. Cool. Okay. Somebody else? Yeah. Okay, William. Let's go. I want to have a play soccer tomorrow in the afternoon. Me quise poner que jugará fútbol, ¿cierto? Voy a jugar fútbol mañana en la tarde. Vamos a ver, vamos a ver. Me dijo. Dije, I, I want to have a play soccer tomorrow in the afternoon. Ok, vamos a hacer una pequeña modificación acá, William. 
For example, this one is okay. Y si lo tiene así acá, está bien hasta acá. Ok. Uh -huh. Que hay que eliminar estas dos palabras. Have a play soccer. I am going to play soccer tomorrow afternoon. Jugaré fútbol mañana por la tarde. Me quedaría okay. así. Ok. Yes. Perfect. Thank you, William. Somebody else? Me. Okay, let's go. I'm going to study Sunday in the morning. Ah, okay, excellent. Thank you, Marilyn. Teacher. Yes, normal. Y she is you going to work Monday? Repeat again, Norma. She is. You are going to work Monday? I'm gonna write it down because uh, I, I, I want to show you something that you need to change. But dijo she, right? Yes. Luego is. Yes. Luego going to. Antes de going era you. You. And yes. Going. To work, work, Monday. Okay. Literal, debo suponer que aquí me quiso poner que ella trabajará el lunes, ¿cierto? Yes. Ok. Yes. Vamos a hacer una pequeña modificación, Norma. Ok. De acuerdo a la estructura que acaba de anotar hace poco, right, ¿cuáles son los pasos a seguir? In this occasion, look. Vaya, tenemos bien she. Tenemos bien is. Pero después del is, is es parte del be. Ok, y recuerde que la estructura es be going to. Ok. So, in this case, después del is, tendría que llevar, llevar aquí going to. Y ahora, el verbo y luego el complemento. Like this, she is going to work on Monday. Le quedaría así, Norma. No llevaría you porque, el you. Se, está, porque se está contradiciendo. El you es para decirle a una persona directamente. Pero como aquí me tiene she, literal aquí me dice, ella es tú yendo al trabajo el lunes. Como que no tiene mucho sentido, right? Sí, ah, you. ok, ok. O es you o es she. Mm. Ok. Yes. Okay, thank you. Okay, yes, okay. Thank you, Norman. Thank you to you. Somebody else? I'm going, I'm going to visit my family. Repeat again, Rod. I'm going, I am going ah. to visit my family. Okay, el am no se le escuchaba. <laughs> thank you, Ruth. Uh, somebody else? Yo, teacher. Okay, let's go. I am going to the beach on Saturday. Ah, okay. Very good. Thank you, Monica. Let me see. Who else is missing? Mm -hmm. I think you are the ones that are going to participate the rest of the class. Okay. Nice, people. Now, let's see some extra examples in here with this thing. Check this out. We got some extra examples. Cristina, tell me a reading, please. We are going, we are going to do the only one. Homework. Homework. Okay, homework. very good. Very good. We are going to do the homework. Okay. Excellent. Thank you. Next one, Marilyn. Okay, el mismo que le dije hace ratito. Otro. Ah. Es que ya le había dicho yo el mío. Y no lo anoto. Marilyn. Hola. Are you paying attention? Sí. ¿Qué le dije? Next one, Marilyn. 
Yes. Recién. Vaya. Que me lea el siguiente ejemplo. Ah, ok. I'm so sorry. Yo pensé que quería que diera el ejemplo. <risa> no, no, no. Lo siento. No, yeah, es que estoy, no, estoy, estoy rendida y, y ya tengo sueño. Lo siento. Por, por dos, no se preocupe. Okay. Si me escuchan Sería... más adelante, si me escuchan más adelante hablar de habilidades, please, dígame, teacher, wake up, ok? Ok. For real, ok, for real. They, are, they are going to play soccer. Ok, very good. They are going to play soccer. Perfect, thank you. Let's continue. Um. Lo bueno que mañana amanece dormido. <risa> Ay, Cristina, qué galán fue ese. No, Cristina, si mañana trabajo de 7 a 5, es mi día más Ay, pesado. Ay, señor. Ay, no. <risa> yes. qué tremendo. Bueno, yes. sí. ¿Sabe qué es lo triste? Sí. <risa> que mañana es el, el, el cumpleaños número uno de mi bebé y no voy a pasar con él. Sí, a veces Exacto. uno se, se esclaviza porque así me pasó a mí en los cumpleaños de mis hijos. Yo les digo que a los nietos les voy a celebrar quizás porque ellos <risa> ya tiene uno 29 y el otro 27. Y, eh. oh, lo de ellos me lo perdí bastante, la, la niñez de ellos. Yeah. Pero así es, toca con los trabajos a veces. That's true, that's true. But anyways, sí. ok. Yeah, I mean, uh, let's see. María Elena, are you there? María Elena. Ok, she's not there. Katherine, what about you, miss? Are you there? No, ok, I guess she's not there. Uh, let me see who else I, I, I ran out of options. Se me fueron las opciones. Uh, Roberto, sorry Roberto, help me out reading please. The students are going to finish class on Wednesday. Okay, very good. It <coughs> says the students are going to finish class on Wednesday. Okay, nice. So in this case, todas estas oraciones, si pueden observar, son eh, hechas en plural, okay? These ones are plural forms. Tanto they como we y la palabra students, todas están en plural. All right. So that's why. Okay. So that's why. Let's continue. Now, this one is in singular because we are talking about only one person. Okay. Carla, help me reading. Carla is going to visit her family. Ah, uh, okay. Good. So in this case, we're talking about only one person, right? So that's why this sentence is singular. Recuerden que con singulares usamos is. Con plurales usamos are. Y con primera persona, cuando hablamos de nosotros mismos, like I, usamos am. That's all you got to remember. Now, next one. Ruth. Jose is going to, to buy a new car. Okay, very good. Jose is going to buy a new car. So if you take a look in here, so basically it's another singular, right? Aquí pues básicamente lo que estamos haciendo es poner nombres propios en vez de pronombres. That's all we are doing. Good. Let's move to the next one. Mm -hmm. Monica. Help me out reading, Monica. Are you there, Monica? Oh, 
Okay, I guess she's not there. So, teacher. Ah, ah. Could you please help me reading the, the, the example? La primera. Uh, no, the last one. They are going to play soccer. Eh, the last one, la última. The, the dog is going to bark. Okay. Good. The dog is going to bark. ¿Qué significa bark, por cierto? Hmm. ¿Qué hacen los perros cuando ven a un desconocido? Aparte de querer morderlo. Ladrar. Exactly. Ladrar. That's bark. All right. That is bark. Okay, excellent. Now, this one, this couple of examples are related to singular and plural forms using positive statements, okay? Good. Man, dele una nalgada la Michi Ruth. That's an enormous cat. Me la va a prestar un día para que venga a arrasar con los ratones. Ya casi me va a besar, ¿eh? Me la viene a poner. <laughs> Jesus. That's a big cat. Okay, good. So we were discussing about positive statements. Estuvimos discutiendo oraciones positivas. Okay. Using, you know, like a few traction. Now we are going to discuss negative sentences. Give me one second. And in here we have the structure. Y acá tenemos la estructura. Take a look at this. Mario, help me read in the structure, please. Subject, subject plus B plus not going to plus my bed. Plus complement. Okay, thank you. Let's remember it goes about it, it, it contains the subject a b plus not plus going to plus main verb plus complement. Esta es la estructura entonces base de cómo formar oraciones en negativo usando be going to. Examples. Check this out. Cristina, help me reading. I am not going to have a meeting and maybe tomorrow. Okay, very good. I am not going to have a meeting tomorrow. What does it mean? Ah, no tendré una reunión mañana, right? So that's something that is negative, okay? Negative. Okay, let's read the last one, uh, the next one, Marilyn. You are not going to call your client. Okay, thank you. You are not going to call your clients. Nice. And what about the next one, Edson? Edson, are you there? Está Yo creo que dijo que iba a estar de oyente. Really? ¿También? De oyente creo que iba a estar. Hola, teacher. Eh, sí, ahorita me puse de oyente porque venía de camino, pero solo me termino de, de dejar todo y ya empiezo a participar en la clase. All right. Ok. Gracias. No problem. Let me see who can help me out with that. Menos que casi no tengo. Pues si todos están de oyentes o no se han conectado o están trabajando. All right, let me see. Estoy aquí. Ah, ah me Judith. Judith. Ah, yes. Teacher, disculpe, yo sí tengo la cámara, lo único que si la ve está empañada. Ya sí, mañana, sí. primero Dios, voy a comprar una para que ya algunos estén ya listas. Ah, ok, Porque cool. Sí, sí así eh, veo como que hay neblina en su casa. <laughs> Sí, no sé qué le pasó, fíjese que estaba bien, pero ni modo, la cosa se arruina. 
Entonces, exactly. Sí. Se les llega su vida útil. Sí, no sabía, porque happen. si hubiera sabido, la hubiera cambiado, pero ni modo. All right, Ay, no problem. Yeah, sí. no problem. I know you're participating. Okay. Okay. Good. Judith, help me out reading the next example, please. What number? Uh, the last one. She is not going to buy a new computer. Ah, okay, very good. She is not going to buy a new computer, right? ¿Cómo interpretamos esa oración? Ella. Ella no tiene que comprar una nueva computadora. Pongámosla a futuro. Ella, ella no va a comprar una nueva computadora. Ok, no va a comprar o ella no comprará una nueva computadora, right? That's a future action. Ok, good. ¿Dónde va incrustado el negativo? Si ven, el negativo va en la estructura, básicamente, entre el be y el going to. Va en medio. All right. Ahí es donde colocamos la forma negativa de esta estructura. O sea, justo después de be, justo después de am, um, justo después de is o justo después de are. Right? It goes there. Ahí va prácticamente. Good. Let me see if we got some extra examples related to this structure. Ah, yeah, but we have another one. I saw Silvia. I am in Silvia. Silvia, let me read in this one, please. She's not going to go out. She's not going. Ah, he is not going to go out. Él no saldrá, right? Okay, good. Voy poniendo ahí mis ejemplos propios. Okay, nice. Any question with this structure, people? ¿Alguna pregunta con esta forma de estructura en negativo? Something that might not be clear for you? ¿Algo que no esté del todo claro? Is everything okay? Nice, nice, nice. I see everything is getting okay. Ah, no, this is our question. Yes, question. Yes, pero antes de las questions, quiero otros ejemplos, people, but in this case, in negatives. Tell me something you are not going to do. Ah, no, denme un momento. En el primer ejemplo en positivo, ustedes lo hicieron sobre ustedes. Ahora quiero que lo hagan sobre alguien más. Voy a mencionar aquí las otras personas. Por ejemplo, Mario is not going to go to the beach tomorrow. An example. You see? Háganlo sobre sus compañeros, pero en negativo. Ok? Let's do it. When you finish, turn on your microphone and read it for me, please. Cuando usted pregunta, la vamos a decir. Oh, yeah. If you have it right now, tell me. ¿Cómo? Ah, si ya la tiene, dígamela. Mm, Exxon, ¿cómo es? Podemos mencionar un compañero, ¿ven? Yes, yes. Exxon is not going to take all the bikes. Is not going yeah. to take? Uh, all the bikes. All the bikes. All the bikes. Eso no va a sacar la moto. Como se dijo, negativa. ¿eh? Ah, ajá. Es, es que lo último, lo último no le escucho muy bien. O out the bike. O sea, se escribe o u b b Se escribe así. Out the bike. 
está malo. Ah, sacará la, la moto. Exxon is not going to take out the bike. No, the bike out. Sería al revés. Ah, al revés. Ok. Gracias. The bike out. Mm -hmm. okay. All right. Thank you, Cristina. Carla, let's go. <laughs> Okay, the teacher is not going to read tomorrow. Thank you for reminding me that I don't <laughs> have time to read. So sorry. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> All right, somebody else? Jesus, como se aprovechan de uno. I like that emoji, Carla. Uh -huh. So, next. Who's next? Only one people. Uh, teacher. Yes, you Pat did. Patricia is not going to run in the park. Ah, okay. Good, good. Yo tengo una para Patricia también. Let's go, yeah. I mean, attack Patricia. Con todo. Y, y Patricia así como que, hey, me acabo de conectar, what happened? Ajá, ajá, ¿Qué, hombre, hombre? ¿Qué hice? Vengo a <risa> okay. Patricia is not going to do her homework. Ah, ok, very good. Thank you, Roberto. Somebody else? Teacher. Ajá. Uh, the teacher is not going to sleep. Thank you for reminding me that too, Silvia. Gracias por hacerme recordar también. <laughs> no, nah, man, that's true. That's true. Es que, I mean, I don't know what happened yesterday, people. I mean. Good evening, yeah, teacher. Good evening, Juan. Ya tenía sueño and everything. And I was like, ah, vamos a esperar que el video se convierta. Right? Se convirtió tipo en si 15. Y luego, ah, vamos a esperar que el video se suba. Se subió tipo... 11.55 más o menos, 12. And I was like, ah, vamos a esperar que me dé sueño ya después. Llegaron las 3 de la mañana y yo todavía despierto. <laughs> and I had to wake up at 5. Nah, man, I didn't sleep that much. La vida de adultos, qué interesante es, right? Ok, good. Who's next? Somebody else, people? Yo. Who say Joe? Alejandra Marilyn. Ah, ya, yeah, mi. Alejandra Marilyn. Ok, let's go. <laughs> Marilyn, Alejandra. Lo siento, es que solo Alejandra me dice el profesor. Ah, and I just tell you Marilyn. La Monroe <laughs> de la clase. Ok, este, para Ruth. <laughs> eh, <laughs> Ruth is not going to wake up early tomorrow. Ah, I thought you would say, Ruth is not going to take a shower tomorrow. <laughs> okay. No, Ruth, si tiene que, porque ahí vive en su trabajo, dice ella, así que, si no lo hace, lo obligan, dice. No, Ruth, I mean, but for real, Ruth, the, the seven days you, you are there, it, it's like your house, right? Yes, it's my house. Eh, o sea, pero no, no trabajo los siete días. Ajá, uh -huh, yeah, I mean, you don't work, but, but you live there all the time, right? I mean, yeah. your, your work is interesting, man. It's interesting because you live there, you eat there. I mean, you do everything there. Jesus, you're complete in there. Lo chivo también es que... Por ejemplo, si una chica quiere ver, me dice que vea una película con ella, es parte de mi trabajo también. Ey, no, 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 no hay trabajo, aunque sea de barrendero ahí. Ay, bueno, es that's cool, that's cool. Yeah. Pasar tiempo con ella es como jugando, pero cosas yeah. también. Ah, interesting. Como una mamá. Bueno. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> but in the organization, there are a lot of people, or very few people. Son pocas. Uh, 
Perdón, teacher. Eh, ahí, like, with you, son, son varias. Eh, seis adultos, incluyéndome a mí, uh -huh. y dos niñas. Dos de una, la mi hija de diez y otra niña de tres. ¿Su hija de diez? Uh -huh. Ah, you got a baby. I told you, you didn't have kids. Perdón, no le entendí esta parte. Ah. I thought you didn't have kids. Creí que no tenía. Now I remember you have a kid, right? Ahora sí ya yeah, recordé yeah, que yeah, tiene yeah. una niña. Sí, ya, ya recordé que. Y ya estoy sí. viejita, ¿qué? Nah, not that much. No, no. Allá está right. mi hija por allá, se va al fondo. Ah, la que pasa ahí, de la otra corriente. <laughs> All right, that's cool, that's cool. Good man, genial, no paga pasaje. <laughs> no en ah, tráfico en net, net, en Pero something like that. Exactly. No me mojo con la lluvia. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. But anyway, that's nice. Okay. Who is Thank you, Marilyn? <laughs> hey, Marilyn. No, Marilyn is sleeping. No, she's there. Ajá. Uh -huh. Somebody else? Alguien más? Yes, teacher. All right, William. Let's go. Cristina is not going to buy a new camera. Ok. No dice Cristina, mañana la compro. Mañana la compro. Ya el lunes ya vamos a estar de toque. Excellent. Very good. That's the attitude, Cristina. Somebody else? Norma? Are you there, Norma? Give me your example, Norma. ¿Qué página, teacher? No, uh, right now we are working in the presentation, mister. Todavía no Mar me normal. Ajá, Norma. Uh, Marvin, Marvin is not going to play good. Okay, good. Anna, but, but Marvin is not here. No, the one who is going to play soccer, I think, no recuerdo si era William o Roberto. One of those. But anyways, that was a good example. Thank you, Norma. Somebody else is missing? Monica? All right. Okay. Okay. Uh, Mario is not going to eat ice cream tomorrow. Ah, okay. Good. He's not going to eat ice cream tomorrow. <laughs> sorry, no Mario. Sorry, Mario. You know, you know, that's, that's, I mean, yeah, antes tenía la costumbre de comer eso a lo, de, a lo así, a lo, a lo loco, man. That was crazy. You know why do I really like going to the beach? To buy minutas, man. They, the, from those big ones that they sell with coconuts and everything. Jesus, I need to go to the beach. All right, let's continue. Thank you, Ruth. Uh, Alguien más? I think I got the feeling that someone else is missing. Monica, did you participate already? Mm, probably she's missing. Uh, let me see. Almost everybody participated, right? Did you participate too, uh, Mario? No. Huh? No, no pasa Come on, mister. ¿Y por qué no, mister? Ni le creo. Ah, bueno, estaba. Estaba analizando. Tendría que ser por otra persona. No tiene nada que ver con. Se dejó una oración, man. Ok, eh, let's go. Marilyn is not, is not going to rest in this hour. Ah, ok. Marilyn is not going to rest in this hour. ¿Quién dice? Dice Marilyn ahí con el, el teléfono viendo al techo y ella dormida. No, aquí estoy viendo, aquí estoy viendo a Don Mario lo que está diciendo. Ah, huh. no, ah, all right, good, good. No, pero era, era una oración. Hey, pero no era ma it, it wasn't Marilyn, the one that was sleeping last time. It wasn't you, Marilyn. No, all right. No, you were okay with that. Then. Now I remember. 
No, es que ella dijo que, ella, que estaba cansada, entonces yo por eso dije, ah, no, ah, no, de, no, no va a poder yeah. descansar porque está en clase. Yo, and, that's, and that's why she's putting yeah. the camera to the roof. Por eso es que está poniendo la cámara así. ¿eh? Para que no la sí, veamos pues. que está dormida. ¿Verdad, Alejandra Marilyn? Yeah, es que es para que no me vean la cara de sueño que ando. Nah. You see, mine too, but I'm, uh -huh. I'm trying to do my best, you see. <laughs> Estoy así como que diciéndome en la mente, Marilyn, tenés que estar despierta. Ya casi, ya casi. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, all right, good. All right, so I think nobody else is going to participate, so let's move on. So remember, we were discussing about positive statements, negative statements, and now let's go into something that is called Yes, no questions using this structure. <sighs> and we got the structure in here. Let me see who can read the structure for me. Judith, help me read the structure, please. Uh, structure B plus subject. Plus going to plus main verb plus complement. Okay, thank you, thank you. Listen, ¿qué sucede en este caso? Si pueden observar al principio, ya no tenemos subject. ¿Qué tenemos? We have be. ¿Qué quiere decir? Que en una oración positiva decíamos I am. O oh, you are, ¿ok? Aquí ya no vamos a decir you are, sino vamos a darle vuelta. Y ya sería are you, ¿ok? Are you. That will be the form. We got some example questions. Yes, of course. Check this out. Patricia, help me on reading. Are you going to buy food tonight? Ok, good. You see? Are you going to buy food tonight? ¿Comprarás comida esta noche? You got two forms of answering this question. Yes, I am. All right? Esa es una respuesta corta, positiva. Okay? Yes, I am. If it is negative, you will say, no, I'm not. I'm not. Okay? Yes, entonces tenemos dos modelos de respuesta. If it is positive, yes, I am. If it is negative, no, I'm not. Good. Are you copying that thing? ¿Están copiando esa parte, los ejemplos? Yes, teacher. Ya okay. terminé de escribirla. Ok, perfecto, perfecto. Okay, I guess you finished copying that then. Let's move to the next examples. Example questions. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Carla, tell me a reading. Is he going to do the homework? Okay, good. Is he going to do the homework? Yes, he does. I mean, give me one second. I'm going to stop sharing this thing. I got a mistake in here. And I don't want to show you this because it's my fault. Give me one second, people. It goes to him. Give me one second. And it's, it's seen here that I had to project it. Okay. I got it here and I got it this case. Okay, check this out. Yes, he is. So that's a positive 
answer to that question, ¿ok? Yes, he is. Si ven, básicamente, lo único que hacemos es, en la respuesta, poner el subject y poner la forma del verbo to be. Ok. Y si es negativo, poner el subject, la forma del verbo to be y al final, not. Jesus Christ. And here, eliminate this, this one. This one is not the one. This one, it has to be eat that. Like this. Like this. Isn't. I was sleeping when I did this thing. All right. No, he isn't. O, de la otra forma, no, he is not. Pero ya sería más separado, right? And here I am giving the contracted way. Nice. Next question. Roberto. Are they going to hire? Hire. Hire new employees. Okay. What is hire? Contratar. Contratar. Thank you, Monica. Yes, in that case, hire means contratar. Are they going to hire new employees? Contratarán nuevos empleados? What is the possible uh, answer? So in that case, yes, they are. If it is positive. If it is negative, no, they aren't. Okay? That will be the negative one. Good. Until here, people, are we understanding this thing? Vamos comprendiendo esta estructura, cómo crear oraciones cortas en, en just no questions. Teacher. Just one. Eh, Por eso no me hace un gran favor, este, como viene tarde, me puede pasar lo que vieron al principio, porque para tenerlo, para repasar. Va, Juan, vamos a hacer algo. Nomás termine la clase. Si yo no me acuerdo, envío un mensaje al grupo y dígame, teacher, mande la diapositiva. Voy a mandar la diapositiva al grupo para que la tenga. Va. All right? Va, va, está bien, teacher. Perfect. Ok, cool. Let's continue. Ok, people. In here, what do I really want for you? You know what I want, right? Ustedes saben lo que ya quiero. Así que, Let's go with one. Solo hágame una pregunta nada más. Ok. One question. Sin, sin respuesta. Solo la pregunta. Usando el be going to. Ok. Yeah. Go one question. To, uh, working. Juan tiene que ser de acuerdo así como lo que hemos estado viendo en los ejemplos anteriores ahorita. Tratemos de hacer una y escribémosla en el cuaderno. All right. Let's do it. Recuerden que si es, es personal, si es una en primera persona sería are you. Si es en tercera persona usando a uh, un hombre sería is he. Si es para ella sería is she. Right? And so on. Let's do it. Voy a dejar de compartir un momento y voy a pasar asistencia mientras lo hacen. Ok. Uh, el son Mariano. Present teacher. Ok. Good. Gabriel Esaú. Gabriel, are you still on the way home? Todavía de camino a casa. Sí, es que viene desde Huachapán, teacher. Ah, eh. Ay, con razón, iba para San Salvador. Viene para acá. Uh, eh. Bueno, y pues, según vi la noticia, es un caos horrible por unas cárcavas que se han hecho en una avenida principal o algo así ahí, ¿verdad? Sí, en el escalón. Oh. Pero ya la sellaron, mm. teacher. Ya la sellaron, ah. ya creo que ya, ya lunes ya está listo. Ah, pero igual, ¿Ya? el tráfico es horrible por el momento. Sí. Sí, ahorita sí, o más que viernes, terrible, se ponen todas las calles. Ah, 
Jesus Christ. Ay, te lo que me salvo por no vivir en la capital. Sí. <risa> Suerte. Nah, man, for real. Aquí en Oriente lloramos por 10 minutos de tráfico. Sí. Y lo que sí, trabajamos sí. en la casa mejor porque no damos la trabajo. Eh, eh, sí. De vez en cuando, sí, pero no todos los días. No, sí, sí. Los sí. que trabajan en casa mejor no, no digan nada porque les tenemos envidia ahorita. ¿no? <risa> Una tal ruta ahí por ahí. Sí. Qué bien pasa. ¿no? Cambiamos ruta. <risa> No padece sí. de tráfico ni nada. No, man, she doesn't know what is traffic, she doesn't know what is paying the bus fare and everything. No, man, no sabe qué es pagar pasaje. Man. Tiene esa paz interna ahí. Eh? Exactly. Sí, porque eso da estrés. No, pero es pesado en otro sentido, chiche. Yes, I know. Si es que todo trae sus desventajas también. Sí, I mean, not, not everything. Sí. Pero igual, man, just imagine. You don't pay... Uh, I mean, usted no se moja, como dice, no, pas no paga pasaje. Nothing. Siempre estoy cool. puntual. <laughs> <laughs> ¿Qué sería el colmo? Ya, ya, ya. No, ¿Viene? pero tengo que ser puntual, estar lista. Imagínense, así como, vienes tarde. <laughs> y usted, ah, yes. No, I mean, that's nice. Me Uno recuerdo... apaga la alarma y dice cinco minutos más. Exacto. Me, me acuerdo me de mis días allá de pandemia en el call center. Entraba a trabajar a las seis, cinco cincuenta y cinco me iba a despertar. <risa> that was funny. Malos ejemplos, Piche. No, I mean, en, en that was cool porque encendía la computadora en dos minutos ya estaba lista. Right? Yo comí ese café todo adormitado ahí recibiendo llamadas, y sí. Sí. Nice. ¿Y esos horarios así son? Esos nice. horarios así son. Yes, man. Y en el break, como ahí en la, en la cama estaba la parte de la, de la computadora, solo me tiraba a dormir otra vez. Sí. That was my, my day, man. Es cuestión de adaptación. Exactly. Exactly. I remember those days. <laughs> But anyways. All right, uh, let me see, Jocelyn is not here. I mean, I'm not, I won't even mention her anymore. Judith Maribel? Present. Okay, good. Carla Ivania? All right, she's there, but she's busy. Carla Lorena? Present. Okay, nice. Catherine Guadalupe? Juraba que estaba Catherine acá. Ok, no problem. Sí, María Elena. Present. Are you working, María Elena? Yes, teacher. Really? ¿Está trabajando? Sí, pero como independiente, no en trabajo todavía. Mm, ah, ok. I, I think I, I got you. I, I got what, what you said. Ok. Nice, nice, nice. Marilyn Alejandra. Present. Ok. Good, good. Mario Ernesto. Eso. Okay, nice. Da, 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 da. Marvin Alexander, I think he's he didn't got connected. Monica Maricela. Present. All right, nice. Nelson Fabricio. I think he got problems. Because he's not here. Uh, Norma Beatriz. Oiga, me llamo. Ya te llamo. Ok, no de Patricia Guadalupe. Present teacher. All right, Roberto Emilio. Present teacher. Ok, Ruth Guadalupe. Present teacher. All right, Santos Cristina. Present teacher. Ok, William Alexander. Present. All right, perfect. Jocelyn Stephanie. All right, she's not here. Juan Ricardo. Mm -hmm. 
Present teacher. Okay. It is Cecilia. I am, she's there, but she's busy. Ana Silvia. Present teacher. Okay, Francisco Ernesto is not here. And Abigail Elizabeth is not here. Nice, okay. Did you finish the examples? Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna go one one and one. Roberto, read your example, please. Are you going to buy a new car? Cool, Mario, respond esa pregunta. Repeat. ¿Me lo puede repetir? Are you going to buy a new car? No. No, I'm not. No, I am not. Okay. I am not. Okay, very good. Thank you, Roberto. Now, Mario, read your question. Este... Uh, otra persona. Yes. Uh, Marilyn is... is... Marilyn is, is she going to, is going to work tomorrow? Marilyn, don't be sleeping. Alejandra Marilyn. Grande Pérez. Perdón, perdón, perdón. Fui al baño, lo siento. Ah. Dígame, ah. dígame, dígame. Limpiándose siento. así, ¿verdad? perdón, perdón. Ay, no, aquí estoy ya. Qué valor. <risa> ok, Mario is asking you a Dios question. Feo. Ah, ok, dígame. Ok, Mario, repeat the question for her. Is she going to the work tomorrow? Yeah. Yes, I'm going to work tomorrow. No, no, no. Listen to the question. Okay. Yo eso escuché. Repeat, is, please, Maria. She is going to the work tomorrow. Repeat the question, Mario. Uh -huh. <laughs> ya me la, ya me la, cambio, ya me la toda. Yes. No. <laughs> ya la repetí montón de veces. Y me, ya me... Tanto que ya la cambió. <laughs> me la acaba de leer como oración, Mario. Es is uh -huh, she, no she yeah. is. Ajá. Ajá, ajá. Is she going to the work tomorrow? <laughs> okay. Is she Así going es. to work tomorrow? No, no es, no es work. Eh, yo le entendí que dijo, is she going to do, to do? No sé qué más dijo después. No, to work, right, Mario? Yes, to work. Is work. Maya. Yeah, y le contesté, yes. I'm going to work tomorrow. Marilyn, le están preguntando, Marilyn. ¿Ir a ella a trabajar mañana? Y usted está diciendo... Ah, ahí. Ay, yo estoy diciendo que yo... Ay, lo siento. Okay. <ríe> Exacto. Ok. Solo voy a contestar que sí. Yes. Yes, yes what? She is. Yes, she is. Very good. Thank you, Mario. And sorry for too many repetitions. Yeah, sí, no. I'm so but, sorry. But, but you know me. She's sleeping, so it's understandable. Yeah, yeah. Ah, ah está secando sorry. que se está durmiendo. Ah, Sí, de verdad sí me estoy durmiendo. Yo le dije que sí, tengo un montón de sueño, de verdad. Se, se me too, man, me too. Me too, no problem. <laughs> cool. Marilyn, okay. ask the question you have to William. Okay. Are you going to celebrate your birthday? Yes, I am. Okay, good, good. Thank you, Marilyn. William, ask Cristina. Este, 
he is he going to see how 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 of the dragon? Uh, repeat again, please. Is he going to see home on the dragon? Ah, house house of the dragon is right. Yes. La casa del dragon or something like that. Is that a series? Yes. Ah, okay. On on HBO, right? Yes. Ah, okay. Good. Cristina? Yes. Que si lavo en la casa, algo así que eso es sirve. No, no, no. He's talking about Syria. William, repeat again, please. Okay, yes. He's going to see home of the dragon. I mean, give me one second. No sé si es que yo escucho mal o yo lo escucho, William, que usted dice he is. Él. Ajá, él. Él. But, but uh, give me one second, Cristina. William, he is? He's, he's, or, or she. Or, or, or is he, or is she? Is she. Ah, okay. Is she. Uh -huh. Is she. Re, 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 repeat, por favor, Pepita. Is she going to see home of the dragon? Going. Is she going to see house of the dragon? Verá ella la casa del dragón. Eso es una serie, Cristina. Mm, mm, I am not. No. No. No, she isn't. No, she isn't. Aha, uh -huh, because it's third person. No, she isn't. No. Okay, good. Thank you, William. Cristina, read the question that you have. Lea la pregunta que tiene, please. Um, the manager is not going to hire a new employee. Pero, Cristina, esa es una oración. Ah, perdón. Tiene que ser pregunta, Cristina. Just no question. Ok. William fue el que preguntó, ¿verdad? Yes, y usted respondió. Ok. All right. Eh, haga la pregunta, Cristina. Tiene que ser con el verbo to be al principio, ok? Good. Mónica. Are they, they going to party this weekend? Are they going to party this weekend? Le falta el verbo, Mónica. En ese caso sería go. Are they going to go? To go, ah, ok. Are they going to go to the party this weekend? Patricia, answer the question. Repeat question, please. Are they going to go party this weekend? Yes, they they are. Are right. okay. Good. Good. <laughs> Thank you, Monica. All right. Now, read your question, Patricia. Yeah. The thing. Are you going? Ah, perdón, aquí en verdad. Um, sería a uh, Silvia. Uh -huh. Are you going to buy the piñatas for the birthday? Uh, I am not. Qué mal. <laughs> no, I am not. Okay, good. Thank you, Patty. <laughs> Silvia, read your question. Uh, Sí, para cualquiera de los compañeros, vea. Yes, let's go. Luego yo escojo aquí, no problem. Ok. Este. Uh, a Ruth. A Ruth. Eh, okay. is, she, is she going to travel with family? With family. Repeat, repeat again, please. Is she going to go travel? No, ahí, ahí, o es go o es travel. 
pero los dos verbos no pueden ir. Okay. Elimine, elimine go, solo deje travel. Ok. If, is she, is she going to travel with family? Yes, I am. Ok. Uh, no. It says, is she? No, are you? Oh, <laughs> perdón. <laughs> Lo tomé personal. <laughs> no, it says she's going to travel with her family. Yes, she is. Yes, she is. Okay, very good. Thank you, Silvia. Now, Ruth, read your question. And uh, 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 who Carla Mendoza is going to answer it. <laughs> okay. Está lista Carla Mendoza. Okay. Okay. Pay attention. Mm -hmm. Are you going to make pupusas for dinner? Yes, I am. Easy as that. Thank you, Ruth. Carla, read your question. Judith, answer. Okay. Is he is he going to work tomorrow? No, he is not. Okay, all right. Thank you, Carla. Judith, read yours. And uh, da, 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 da. who's gonna be the last woman? Uh, everybody has already participated. Ah, Juan. Va a responder Juan. Okay, let's go, Miss. Yes. Judith. Are you going to buy a dog? Yes. 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 Yes, I am one. Yes, I am. Okay, very good. Thank you, Juan. Juan, ¿le hizo alguna pregunta? Juan de. ¿Hizo alguna pregunta? I, sí, para ella misma. I go working fashion. Repeat again. I go. Sería, 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 are you, are you going to work? You going to working on, on fashion? On fashion. On okay. fashion. Okay. Are you going to work on fashion? Okay. Good. In that case, a possible answer to that question might be yes, I am or no, I'm not one. Okay. La escribió, cierto? Juan. ¿Le escribió? Sí. All right. Good. Cristina, did you finish? Thank you, Juan. Did you finish the question? Sí, teacher. Ahorita, yes. Read it, please. Uh, William, uh, como él tenía que... William, William, are you going for um, a room tomorrow? Se lo repito. Repeat again, please. William, are you going for uh, a room tomorrow? Are you William, going? Vas a ir a correr mañana. Ah. William, are you going? To ¿Estás? run. To run. Ah, ajá, yo le puse. William, are you going for a room tomorrow? No, sería, are you going to? Después del to, solamente run. Run. Tomorrow. Después del, después del, del going. Del two. Después del two. Going to run. Going to run. No, el for. No. To, to a room. A, uh, no, no, no to a room. To run. Después to del to, run. el verbo. Ok. Sin la A. Exacto, sin la A. Ok, ok. okay. Go okay. wrong. Mm -hmm. Exacto, que se va bien tu wrong. Sí. Mm -hmm. Ok. So in that case, this is the way how to ask yes, no question, okay? Ahora bien, vamos a pasar a la última parte antes de irnos al manual. Information questions. Ahora ya son preguntas informativas. Recuerden, cuando hablamos de una pregunta informativa es cuando incluimos las WH words, like what, what time, where, when, who, why, how often, how many times, how frequently, and things like that, okay? Examples. Patricia, help me read it, please. 
Where are you going to call your boss? Where are you out. going to call your boss? Okay, where are you going to call your boss? Okay, good. So you see, literalmente, ¿qué estamos diciendo ahí, people? ¿Cuáles eh, los muchachos? Quiero ver. ¿Dónde? ¿Dónde? Ajá, ¿dónde? ¿Dónde? Irán a llamar a su jefe. O llam eh, eh, en este caso no irán, sino ¿dónde llamarán? Llamarán a su jefe. Ajá. Exactly. A su jefe. ¿Dónde llamarán a su jefe? He says. Ah, look. The answer. Como aquí ya no es una yes no question. Aquí sí ya tenemos okay. que poner una information. Allá en con actor call a boss está office. At the office. In the office, in this case, one. In the office, okay? I am going to call my boss in the in office. In the office. All right, good. Llamaré a mi jefe en la oficina. You see? So in that case, this is like, yeah, usando una pregunta informativa, right? Y respuesta, obviamente, igual, informativa. Okay, let's move on. Let's take a well, look at this I, one. Silvia, help me out reading, well, please. Juan, usted me va a responder esa pregunta, ¿ok? Silvia la va a leer. Ajá. I am going to call my boss in the office. Uh, no, yes. the question, the question, okay. the question, Silvia. Okay. What time is he going to send the report? Okay, listen. What time is he going to send the report, right? ¿A qué horas enviará el reporte? Juan. He's going to send the, the report, report at, at, eight, um, eight, a name. at a. 8 a.m. A.m. Okay, thank you, thank you. So you see, he's going to send the report at 8 a.m. I mean, okay. yes, teacher. Nice. Yes, sir. Finish, teacher. All right. Do you finish? Okay. Good. So I'm going to stop sharing this thing. And let's go, people, into the manual. Let's go to the manual, people. Specifically, I want you to go to page... Give me one second. What happened to this thing? I hate when something like this happens. Give me one second. Okay, it goes here. Okay, let's go to page 41. Vamos a la página 41, please. Okay. 41, page 41. 
what are we going to do in that page? I'm gonna share the, 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 the page, give me one second. This one, all right, specifically to this page. Check that out. In here, we have a short conversation. Tenemos una conversación acá que me gustaría que practicáramos como siempre lo hacemos, okay? This is a conversation between Jen and Gerardo, right? Good, he says Jen, listen. Hello, thank you for calling. Hello, thank you for calling the Golden Star Hotel. The Golden Star Hotel. This is Jen. This is Jen. How can I help you? How can I help you? It says, Gerardo, hello. Hello, I need to make a reservation. I need to make a reservation. It says, Jen, sure. Sure. Uh, let me see. May I have your name, please? May I have your name, please? It says, Gerardo, of course. Of course, I'm Gerardo Gomez. I'm Gerardo Gomez. It says, Jen, thank you, Mr. Gomez. Thank you, Mr. Gomez. When are you? When are you going to arrive? Are you going to arrive? It says Gerardo, I'm going to arrive. I'm going to arrive on Friday 14th. On Friday 14th. Ah, este día llegó. Friday 14th. Okay, it says, Jen, how long are you going to stay? with us mr gomez how long are you going to stay with us mr gomez he says gerardo i'm going to stay until monday i'm going to stay until monday jen says are you going to make the reservation are you going to make the reservation for a single or double room? For a single or double room. It says, Gerardo, a single room, please. A single room, please. Okay, good. From here, people, do you have any question? ¿Tenemos alguna pregunta con relación a pronunciación o vocabulario? Richard, ¿puede repetir la, la anterior a esa? Ace English. Uh, ¿Esta? Anterior a donde dice Ace English Room, please. Eh, ¿Puede repetirla, por favor? De ah, quién? ok. Good. De Are you going to make the reservation for a single or double room? Single or double room? Or, or that, or, double, double. O, ajá, pero la A, ¿cómo la pronuncio? For. All right, nice. Va, mire. Igual, como siempre, nos vamos a ir a practicar esta pequeña conversación, pero luego de eso vamos a bajar. 